the main goals of the World Digital Library are to uh, foster international understanding and cooperation by uh, showing uh, the cultural achievements of all of all countries and civilizations, uh, where we have uh, material from all parts of the world and all time periods to show the the greatness and the rich uh, contribution that all of these cultures and civilizations have made. Uh, and then beyond that, of course, the idea is to put very high quality content on the internet that can be used by the interested general public. Um, and uh, the other goal of the project is to help to bridge the digital divide uh, through capacity building. We have been adding content to the World Digital Library. We've been adding partners to the World Digital Library. The project now has uh, 118 partners from 65 countries which is many times what we had when we launched. We had about 25 partners when we launched it in April 2009. We've had 13.2 million visitors to the site since the launch uh, from every country in the world. Um, the other interesting aspect has been the multilingualism. The site interfaces in seven languages. We didn't know when we launched how much interest was going to be in each of those languages, but it's Spanish is actually the highest, but all of the languages are being used. I mean, we put these great world treasures on the, on the World Digital Library, uh, one-of-a-kind maps, single copies of the oldest book published in various countries, the oldest manuscripts. We do have a couple areas of focus where we're trying to really build up the, you know, the, the greatest collection we can. Uh, those areas of focus are things like Arabic scientific manuscripts, uh, Chinese rare books and maps, and Mesoamerican codices. These are Aztec and Mayan codices. We need more content about lots of countries. I mean, the, the volume of content on the World Digital Library is still growing. It's still relatively small. We're, we're in a startup phase. We're working to fill those gaps. We have a, we have a production plan all these partners, and when I, when I mentioned that we have 118 partners, well, a partner is an institution that's going to contribute rare books, rare maps, rare photographs from its collections from the central uh, library, the heritage library, the heritage library of the Cutter Foundation in Doha. Uh, we just added um, r rare Latin translations of Arabic scientific works. So you had a famous um, uh, Arab doctor Avicenna, of course. His works were translated into uh, Latin uh, and uh, were printed in, uh, in Europe as early as 1473. That's very early because Gutenberg is 1455. So we've also had some very interesting material from the Bavarian State Library in Germany. Uh, it's our first German partner. Um, a, a very a wide array of content, but just to give you uh, an example, an early 11th century uh, Bible, the Reichenau Gospel. It's on the UNESCO Memory of the World list. That's one of the uh, one of the goals of the World Digital Library, is to get as many Memory of the World registered items on the World Digital Library.